Hey, what's going on guys? PvP and Chili here, and let's talk War Thunder, alright? So in this video, I'm just gonna showcase, you know, a funny game I got in the R3220 and the SM91. The video is more around the SM91 because it is a monster. The R3220 is a little bully, alright? Let's, let's be honest, it's a little bully. So, that's what the video is about, but what I really want to talk about is... Once the Sport Thunder event's over and I've gotten videos out on the Obel, BT-7, BF-110C6, and the P-59A, I'm going to take a break from War Thunder because this event has been painful. It's, it's been hard. So I'm thinking about bringing new things to the channel like maybe DayZ if I can get the game to work properly or maybe Vigor or maybe Minecraft. Uh, I'm I'm definitely leaning towards Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, I know, Minecraft. Or some kind of shooter, like maybe H1Z1. Or uh I don't know, some s or No Man's Sky. Oh yeah, yeah. Definitely. Uh I'm definitely leaning towards No Man's Sky and Daisy and Minecraft. Those are the three games I'm probably going to start bringing to the channel. Because they're fun. They're not grindy or as grindy. Now, I already have like 30, 40 hours of in game time on No Man's Sky. So, I think I'm going to make a new character and play it on that. But I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to really do. All I know is I need a new game to play. Because I'm burnt out. So, after the event's over, and I get some videos out, and I just have some fun, War Thunder's gonna be more of a casual game, because I've been grinding my ass off on this game for the past two months now. I finally got me an Abrams. I got me Radar Guided AA. So, I definitely think it's time I take a break from War Thunder. I'm not stopping playing the game. I'm gonna play it casually. I've been tryharding this game for two months straight, hard, non-stop grinding. That's all I've been doing. So, uh, I'm really excited to bring some new content to the channel because, I mean, the majority of my content is War Thunder. I do enjoy the game, but the current state that the game is in is not that great. Besides, you know... What's it called? Uh, I'll be back in like two weeks. Or something like that. You know, back to grinding what Thunder in like two weeks. Because we'll have a new update. Right now, the vehicles that they've announced are the Osman 2, the M48 A2 ACs, I think, and the Westland Scout and the Westland Lynx. So that's four vehicles, and, you know, they usually bring out 15 per update or something like that, maybe. So, with that being said, I'm going to have a lot of things to do War Thunder related in the coming months. I also have to make a video on the mouse, but I don't want to do that right now. But, yeah, I have a lot of stuff to do in the coming weeks. Also, RIP ASU. Never stood a chance. <laughs> oh, poor ASU. I feel so bad. But yeah, with all that being said, I do hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. And just have fun. Because that's important. And I hope you guys get the vehicles you want from the event. Because if I'm lucky, tomorrow I'll have the Obel, and the day after that I'll have the P59. The distinction for 1,000 silver lions. I mean, 1,000 golden eagles. eagles. Yeah. I wouldn't advise it, but if you really want to do it that badly, there's no reason why you shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have the oh, I'm about to be a bully. It's basically a warbleman. I'm gonna be a bully. What? Oh, you're the R3T20? No, I don't. Oh, yeah, I'm just going around killing things in the R3T20. And right now, I'm just being a bully to this. Yak 10. 
<laughs> I'm just shooting him in the face every time his gunner reloads because he can't shoot down at me. It's like um, very annoying. <laughs> I'm so mean. It's fun to do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! That is terrifying. This no crate dude, I'm gonna mute him Yeah, not a bad idea. Sorry. Sorry, no crate, but also I apologize if there's a fan in my background. It is a hundred degrees outside and it's Oh thank god. It's nine o'clock at night. It is so hot here. Yeah? So, you can fake a shot, like when you're over like the corner and like corner fighting, mm -hmm. there's like a dude in the other side of the corner, he like thinks you shot your, you fired your shot, but you didn't, you actually Ah, uh, yes. With the 37, yep. I'm quite familiar with that. Like try to shoot his track and act like you missed. Act like you're a bird. Yeah, and the M18 is pretty annoying. M18's not annoying, it's just good. I mean, no, it's not annoying, it's actually pretty OP, that's all. Yeah. So, I'm bullying a T-34 by killing his gunner over and over with the R3-T20 now. Oh, jeez. He doesn't like me. Oh, oh, no, he had a friend! Oh, no. I killed his gunner twice. <laughs> R.I.P. Russia. Dominates everything at that tier. Tanks, planes. <laughs> ZSU-37. Oh, oh, dude, I annihilated... Poor fucking Russians, man. Anything Russian is just going to have a bad day. The IS-1 is the only thing the R3-T20 can't really bully. <laughs> Come on, put the fire out. Come on, spaghetti. Put the fire out. Put the fire- YES! Spaghetti is the ultimate! The jumbo also can't handle the, the R3 T20. Yeah. Yeah, I call I call it delivery boy. The R yeah. The R3 T20 is because the ultimate delivery boy because it delivers yeah. pain and suffering to all that are against no, it. He delivers pizza very fast. That's why. <laughs> it's pizza time. Yeah. It's pizza time while the R3 T20 is alive. But when the R3 T20 dies, it's not pizza time. The, oh yeah. The gas oh yeah, the gas so seventy two is a good one. Very, nice. very yeah. good milk delivery truck. The Z12 is kinda, um, yeah, yeah like, for what it like, is, it is pretty weak, yeah. But it's Especially it like, for shooting. Yeah, it's like, it's you good. Your gun, like, you can stick out your gun and the like um the truck is um covered by the wall. Mm-hmm. I miss the I'm old days it, before I'm, the spaghettes were added. I'm close to getting the bush. I need uh, like a few hundred more um, Golden Eagles. Ah, uh, no, War Bonds. Eagles. Good. Yeah, Good. War Go that route. I have like 22 to like eat. One more mission till I get to um, your four. Hmm. Yeah, you can get one bush a month. You can do one bush a month, or if you get enough Dude, uh, the special most, tasks. The most fun vehicle for me yeah. so far is the KB2. 
Oh yeah, KB2 is great. Especially yes. for memeing around. Yes. No. The best shell is the E shell. Uh, the H shell is nice, but I've started using the APHE because every time I come across a jumbo, I'll shoot it with the APHE and it just says no. Yeah. Well, you gotta. No, I actually have a tech. Yeah. So, you know how the bullet can bounce off of dirt? Yeah. So it bounces. I uh, shoot the like lower under area of the jumbo exploding yeah, under the crew. Not. Nah. That is a risky. Sure like, yeah. You gotta get a lucky you shot. You can shoot at the neck. Mm -hmm. You gotta make sure um, you gotta position yourself in a 45 degree angle. Well, one thing that you can do is if the uh, jumbo's turret is facing uh, straight ahead of the hole, uh, if you're lucky enough, the uh, if you shoot the turret plate or turret face. The explosion will yeah. go downwards into the tank, detonating the ammo rack and yeah. killing crew members and well, stuff like that. Because it's, it's basically guiding, yeah. Like, your shot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Although, let's be honest. You could just go, you could just go for yeah, <laughs> oh, I love that fucking name. Anti concrete. Like, you know a motherfucker done fucked up. When you had a yeah, shell designed to get fucked up. To break concrete. Yeah, anti-concrete. You, you have a shell specified for jungle. You know yes. Yeah. <laughs> Which, oh, no, you know what? You know what? what can kill jumbo? What's that? Uh, the armor piercing shell on the ASU 57. Yeah, that is true. It has an APCR though. That's the issue. I mean, yeah. Speaking of, I got a question for you. Was my video that I uploaded earlier today for you helpful? Yeah, actually. That's awesome. I'm like, glad. I actually tried to find out mm -hmm. how can I like steer around like in the ground. Ah. Like how ah. can I move around? Mm. Yeah. Oh. I actually got better. That's good. I'm glad the video was very helpful. Have you heard about the, uh, Cobra move? The what? That only, uh, special death fighters can do. Cobra move. Mm, not really, actually. What you talking it's about? It's like, you spin midair to avoid enemy shots from, um... Ah, uh, the flat spin. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. No, but it has to face, like, upward. Like, yeah, it goes, it goes like, uh, wheel. Yeah. But you gotta then, um... Yeah, it, it, it helps you get behind your enemy. Hmm. Yeah. I-15s are actually okay at, um, here. Yeah, they are. For 2.0, because they like, take out any plane. In Dude, like, in like, uh, I've taken like, out two stuff. fucking planes today with the, uh... Oh no! There's another one? Who dareth fuck with me? that guy <laughs> what oh my god I've just shot down three planes with the SM-91's tail gunner oh my I wanna get the PA PA it's awesome nuke mm-hmm yeah. nuke is nice you know what you know what they should add to, uh, a premium vehicle what's that for the American tech tree the 